Dino, take us through the preparations after a big round and heading over the ditch to play New Zealand. Yes, you know, some there were some positives in the game. We, you know, we shared the basketball well, had 23 assists, um, shot it well, had 14, you know, three balls made, and so we're just hoping that we can just lift our. Um, our ability to get back to the foul line a little bit more. It's important on the road that you keep, you know, getting some uh, some points there. But you know, we scored 96, and it's for us just the we saw the intent on defense in the last five minutes of the game with the, the desperation that we played with, and we, we've just got to see a lot more of that going to New Zealand. Talk about the depth of this team and what it was like to see that run in the final few minutes where you got got it back to within four points where it's a different looking lineup out there. It's a lot of the bench guys in Tanner and Ariel and I see. Talk about the depth and how important that is. Yeah, you know, to have K B, you know, start both games over the weekend with, with Travis out and I uh, thought he had two fantastic games and then uh, with that, you know, we asked, you know, more of Tanner Krebs and uh, again had, you know, two fantastic games as well. So um, yeah, any time the opportunity is presented for other guys to really step up, I think this, this team's been great and um, you know the opportunity for that to happen this week again. How have you seen Tanner grow into this role? Maybe had a, a slower start to the season, didn't shoot the ball as well as he would have liked, but he's really thrived over the past six games shooting at above 50% from three. How has he sort of settled into this team and this lineup? Yeah, I think... You know, for him, the opportunity to mix a little bit between the three and the four, where a lot of his minutes have come, you know, supporting CG. But um, you know, seeing the value and the stretch ability that he has at the four spot, it's been really good for us. But yeah, you know, we really credited to him with owning his own uh, development, his um, half-year review. He was the most prepared on our team coming in about these are the things I think I'm doing well. These are areas I need to get better and. Um, you know, we made a point to all the young guys on our roster to say that's this is how you keep getting better, and we've seen the rewards. Heading to New Zealand, what are the challenges there, and especially going up against a team that's desperate to push into this top six? Yeah, this is the you know the last game of the third quarter for us, and you know we've, we we won six, we won five in the second quarter, and we have an opportunity to to win five again and try to be. Uh, as consistent as we can be across the season. Um, with in saying that, you know, um, New Zealand, we haven't played them for a long time. We played them very early in the year. Um, you know, they're still got some pieces coming in and out a little bit. Still, Finn, Finn Delaney, um, unsure about you know where he's at, but yeah, they you know they've been competing at a really high level, and I think they won four out of their last five and have been on a nice stretch and. Um, yeah, they're, they're starting to play, you know, finals basketball right now and um, we've got to be able to go and match that intensity. You haven't dropped back-to-back -back games yet this season. Is that something that the group is aware of or that you, or is, that you as a coaching staff are aware of going into this game to just say after every poor result, you've bounced back in a big way and, and gotten a good one? Yeah, so, you know, if you can maintain that to, to really own uh, the errors and... Um, to make corrections and just to step up the intensity a little bit where, um, you know, may have been a little bit off in different areas. Uh, it's been important for us. But, yeah, playing in a regional venue over in Taranaki, it'll be, a, um, you know, a, a crowd that'll be into the game. And um, I'm really looking forward and excited to, to go play over there. And how's the lineup looking? Um, it seems like LT was moving well on the court and, and tracking well to be back. Yeah, Luke's got two two good practices of contact in, and um, you know looked even more today that you know he was trusting his body and um, still a little bit of soreness there. But I think he's he's tracking really well to go uh, and play really good minutes in this one. Um, you know, Shea suffered a mild concussion in the game in Adelaide. Um, symptoms are mild, and it will be a fitness test for um, the next game against Tasmania. And then, yeah, Joe's out with, with personal reasons for this game.